Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am the Sarcastic Barman, and welcome to my channel. It's 2021. People still think the Earth is flat, and just deny that greater circle flight paths are a thing. Better get a beer, then, because this is going to be fun. Hey guys, how are you? Uh, it's been a while since my last video and I I was thinking about this stuff here for a couple of weeks. There are six emergency landings that shows us that uh, we live on a plane, we don't live on a sphere. Are, are you sure about this? Because the last thing I'd want to do is subject my subscribers to some stupid, ignorant, ignoramously ignorant stupidness where you just don't understand how flight paths work or how a fucking ball works to start with. I just don't want you to make yourself look like a dickhead. Okay, so I have we here with me the Glissons map and I have a inflatable uh, globe. So we will talk about those flights, okay? Are you sure? Because I feel like that might be out of the depth for you. I, I think you should stick with just the pictures of why does Australia look so different on your uh, inflatable than it does on your Gleason's stupid flat projection map. Because it's projection of a fucking globe onto a flat surface. It, it's oh, Distances and things are not going to work well for you, are they? The first flight that I'm talking about, a, a lot of people have talked about these flights. I've seen many uh, videos online. From the mail online, this flight, okay, <clears throat> it's a flight from Taiwan to Los Angeles. Okay, Taiwan to LA. That's going to take this sort of flight path because it's a greater circle route. And we'll explain a bit more on that in a moment. Which way do you think it's going to go? Okay, a lot of people have been saying this the flight left uh, the Philippines or Bali. No, that flight where the, when the lady gave birth to a baby, he departed from Taiwan. Well, congratulations to that woman being one of the few people who have probably given birth on a plane. Well done. So here are some of the pictures, you know. You can see these online. Just go to the mail online. Do these pictures have anything to do with the route that's been taken? Or are you just trying to prove that, yes, this flight definitely exists because you think it fits your narrative, which is going to be really depressing for you in a moment, isn't it? So, if she departed, uh, that's why I have here, uh, this go. She departed Taiwan. Okay, Taiwan right here, and she was flying to Los Angeles. Okay, it's the blue line. Okay, she was flying to Los Angeles. Hmm, that's odd. Your blue line doesn't seem to be even close to where the red line on our map we showed before was. Why is that, I wonder? Six hours into the flight, let's say one thirty, one third of the journey, the water broke. Okay, so I'm dividing this distance in three. Okay, it's 19 hours flight, six hours into the flight, they had to uh, land. So, if it's about a third of way, I say it's roughly where that star is, maybe just before. So, that sounds fine. So, the easiest way for her could have been, actually, Hawaii, right here in the middle. Hawaii? Well, by the look of it, She'd be closer to going to fucking Canada than Hawaii at that point. Okay, Hawaii. She could have flown to Japan. She could have, I mean, not she, the pilot, could have flown back to Taiwan. But they landed in Alaska. Yeah, they landed in Alaska. Probably one of the airports that was available for them to land at could take the plane and refuel the plane and keep them as close to schedule as possible. It's a bit of a pain in the ass to turn around and go back six hours, then to reload everything and then continue again for another 19 hours when you can at least get a bit closer to your destination. 
but you're about to do something ridiculously stupid. More stupid than drawing the lines wrong on your fucking ball, which is a bit sad, really, that you've just got a beach ball. Just just get, get a globe. They don't cost much. Jesus Christ. Um, but fair warning here, I think you're all going to want to take a step back from the screen and hold your beer tightly. Okay, so on a sphere, doesn't really make sense. But when you look here, you see a straight line. It's Taiwan right here, down to LA. You really think it makes no sense on a sphere? Okay then. But you think it's fine on a projection of a sphere onto a flat surface. Right. Do you understand, like, the shortest distance between two points on a sphere isn't actually a straight line? Um, I, I think you're failing with basic understanding of the model you don't think works because you don't fucking understand it. Not understanding something doesn't mean it doesn't work, it just means you're a fucking numpty. So they made an emergency stop right here in Alaska. It only makes sense on a flat earth map. So here's the first fail of the flat earthers. And to prove it, we have two wires the same length. We've taken wire one and taken it from Taiwan over around the globe to Los Angeles. Yep, that's where it's going to end up. And then we've taken wire two, started again in Taiwan, gone around the globe and ended up in Tijuana. Now these wires are the same distance, they're the same length. It's just the route they've taken a slightly different. Yeah, this is a greater circle path. Well done, Flat Earthers, for not understanding fucking anything. Not on the globe, okay? So this is the first flight. Let's talk about the second one. Do we really have to talk about the second one? Is it really going to prove your case any more than the first one did, which completely debunked your claim? So, you don't draw two straight points on a fucking globe to try and join them together. Because that's not the shortest distance, for fuck's sake. It's big, it's round, and it spins through fucking space. That's right, it's the globe. And if you can't understand that, and you're claiming to do research, and can't understand that, I'm very sorry for you, but I don't think there's anything medical science can do for you to help give you a brain, because you obviously were born without one. You've been born without the basic understandings and basic mental ability to do fucking anything for yourself, and you just decide to splur off all the crap you hear on YouTube without going... Oh, that does sound a bit odd. I wonder if I could do this. Hmm. And doing it for yourself. And instead you had the opportunity to do it for yourself and fucked it up beyond belief. Two bits of string, a bit of wire, anything could have saved you your fucking sanity and your fucking ability to not make a fucking cock end of yourself online. Because that's all you've done. You've shown you can't fucking do anything. Now, this fucking video was sent to me by Great Believer over on Twitter when I asked him for proof that the Earth is flat. Yeah, this is someone who claims you have to do your own research. So, Great Believer, this is my uh, rebuttal to your fucking stupidness. Would you care to get a globe of yourself? Get wire. Seems you got me to get wire, which is a pain in the ass to try and straighten out to start with. But luckily we got it there in the end, and you come up with a nice flight path, as shown here, that ends up further in Los Angeles when both of them are travelling the same fucking distance. I, I think you're probably going to ignore the tweets I've sent you about this and probably not reply to this video. But if you do, I'd love to have a debate with you online. We've done one debate about... Uh, Evolution, my first ever debate, and I'd love to have another one with you about Flat Earth because I think it's going to be very amusing if you're going to come out with evidence of, oh, look, this flight path doesn't work. Mm, maybe it's your brain that's at fault, not the flight path. 
Well, that's all the time for tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you've enjoyed this one. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe down below. A big shout out to all my members, Patreons, everyone who does even leave me a comment. It all helps likes, even dislikes, which I'm sure there'll be a few butthurt flat earthers leaving dislikes and mean, horrible comments on this one. Oh dear, did I hurt your fucking imaginary flat earth belief? Oh, didums. But don't forget, see you all on the next ones. Uh, I think that's everything I need to tell you about. Oh, Pain of Progress. Two weeks, 17th, February. Go watch it. Go watch it. Trailer after this. Woo! Thank you very much. Good night. In Series 3 of The Pain of Progress, we broadened the scope of the show and took a look at the organizations, movements, and people who have influenced and shaped the world we live in today. The result was an overwhelming amount of positive comments and feedback on each and every episode. Based on the incredible support from our viewers, we will once again broaden the scope even more and go deeper into human history than ever before. The following is a look at what is to come in Series 4 of The Pain of Progress, right here on the iNetwork.